Good morning. morning. As we gather as God's people, we rejoice and just celebrate. A lot to celebrate. Today is the last Sunday of what's called the Epiphany season, and uh, this coming Wednesday begins the Lenten season. Tuesday in uh, many areas is uh, known as Shrove Tuesday. Shrove Tuesday means Fat Tuesday. That's why the Mardi Gras goes on and the revelry. Uh, It is a time to uh, get rid of the things of of that, of the pleasures of the world and to focus upon coming into the holy presence of God to remember God's great love and what he did with that great love to uh, send his son into this world to bear the sin for all people and to set them free from death and the power of the devil. And it is within that that we come and uh, we enter into this season Uh, with humility, coming before God, returning to him, repenting of all of our sins, and hearing those words, you are dust, and to dust you shall return. That stark reminder that what sin brought was death. But the gift of God, the promise of God, the assurance that it is ours, is that we have life everlasting. With that message, Noreen Callahan received that victory this morning as she is taken to her eternal home. Yesterday, Carl Pantiscus, Miriam's son, was taken to that same eternal home to receive the crown of victory. It is within that that As God's people, we have the assurance of the resurrection, but we gather with those who are mourning to those who who know that word of comfort, but also need the word of God's to bring peace. And it's a word that we can all hear. It's a word that we can all be strengthened by and that we are uplifted by. So as we gather today, we gather with the saints, those that have gone to be with the Lord and those who are still here upon this earth, and to rejoice and to give thanks to God. Just a couple of announcements. Out there in the foyer is a sign-up sheet for the church council um, luncheon uh, that will be on the 11th of March for, uh, in celebration of all of our volunteers. And so we ask that you would uh, sign up for that uh, to make that a great day and appreciation for that. As I mentioned, uh, this Wednesday is Ash Wednesday. We will be having, uh, starting this Wednesday and through all the Lenten services and even through Holy Week, a noon service and a 7 o'clock service. And so within that is to give opportunity. The noon service is an opportunity for some of our uh, senior citizens that don't like to get out at night and so that they can participate in the Lenten journey and to worship. It's also an opportunity for those who are working, especially here in the Vacaville area, um, that possibility that you might be able to join us. The noon service is roughly a 30 to uh, 35 minute service. Um, So is the seven o'clock. So don't think that just because you come to the noon that it's going to be shorter than the 7 o'clock one, okay? (laughs) Except for this Wednesday, because this Wednesday is the imposition of ashes and Holy Communion, so it'll be a little longer, but within that. But the services is an opportunity for you to maybe invite a co-worker to come with you at noon um, if you're working here in the area. And it's also the opportunity that you can invite people to come to the 7 o'clock service, whichever. So those will be throughout the whole Lenten service up until Easter. This afternoon, at following the 11.15 service, is a special fundraising luncheon. Um, and as such, uh, it is to help to provide funds for uh, Stephen Schneider, uh, who has a heart condition, but this will help him for the rest of his life that he will be able to um, uh, draw from those funds when his medical needs are uh, 
uh, required to, to be funded. And because of having a heart condition, uh, it's very difficult then to get insurance, um, that type of thing. So this will be a fund that will be continuing to be built and uh, will be uh, helping in that situation. Also, um, next Sunday on the 4th, uh, following the 1115 service, there is a special presentation. Our health committee is bringing in um, a gentleman that's in the, um, as a lawyer, but one of his specialties is dealing with end-of-life legalities and like uh, the things that are necessary for helping to prepare for the end of life. And so that's being offered, and uh, so plan to attend that. There will be a sign-up sheet uh, for that next week. Bethany has been asked to participate in a special food distribution. Now, Epiphany uh, Episcopal Church, that's down on Buck and uh, West Street, I believe, um, offers a meal for the homeless every Friday night. Every Friday night, they feed about 400 people. Um, other churches are uh, joining in to participate. Uh, Shepherd of the Hills is, St. Mary's and St. Joseph Catholic churches are, and so forth and so on. We've been asked if we could help and offer another day um, during the month to offer a meal. So you will be receiving a survey um, in this next week or so asking about your interest and participation. It will take at least, at least 12 individuals that will be committed to this outreach ministry. And we'll need double that so that it can be on a rotating and you can just continue to imagine how that uh, continues to be. So if uh, I want to put that upon your hearts to pray about how we might uh, be able to help and uh, to reach out into our own community uh, to provide a meal for the homeless. We do this also at Mission Solano every third Saturday of the month, and uh, we continue to need help with that. Uh, but some have said, why don't we do something here in Vacaville? Here's the opportunity. And so be thinking about that, and then we'll have a survey to find out your interest and so forth. Well, you have another friendship card, right? To ask a question, we're not going to do it in service today. But after the service, we're going to ask that you find somebody new, okay? Invite them over to coffee, or just go over there to coffee, and visit over there and find a new friend. And then place the name in the box and so forth, okay? Please join me as we come together in uh, worship of God. Uh, this morning in our beginning worship. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, our gracious God has not left us alone in our fallen state. Jesus entered human history to die for our sins and rise again, bound for heaven to be at the right hand of God the Father. Therefore, in repentant joy and faith-filled confidence, we go to the throne of God's grace, confessing our sins. Heavenly Father, we confess that we would prefer to ascend to the heavens like Elijah, but without acknowledging our sin, forgive us 